Hello and welcome to Kimba Bushcraft. Today Cornelius and I are out in the Black Forest and uh, you saw I put up my tarp, my new uh, 2.5 by 2.5 meter tarp. I think it's 8 by 8 feet. And uh, in another configuration this time, the one that I love very much. And there's a lot of room in here. Uh, when I'm going to make an oar ride, I, I can sleep in here. And even if the rain is coming, I'll be protected. So. I like this tarp very much. Uh, beside that, I'm starting a new series. It's called uh, Viking from A to O. And uh, it's not from A to Z like my Bushcraft series. And I'll explain that a little bit later. And uh, I also made a new addition to my Firebowl. Uh, those of you who saw my last video, so I put a fence around my Firebowl so that Cornelius wouldn't burn himself. And yeah, it's okay solution, but it takes a lot, lot of uh, time to make and yeah, it doesn't look very pretty. So I made a new thing for my fireball that I hope will work. I think it will work and that will be uh, more safe for Cornelius when he walks down here in, uh, in where I'm sitting. So yeah, I have some food with us today. Cornelius and I are going to have something with bacon. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to that and um, just enjoying uh, the day. It's a wonderful day today. The sun is shining. They actually said it would be overcasted, but I can see the sun now. And yeah, perhaps later it will be a little bit uh, cloudy, but it doesn't matter. The wind is not strong today as it has been the last couple of weeks, so I enjoy it very much. And uh, this forest is actually the one that I was in when I cut my hand with my axe and uh, at that time I walked around here to find a place and I saw a burst tree with some chaga on and I'll see if I can find that again and harvest some of that. Yeah. So I'm glad you joined me again and uh, I hope you stay on. Uh, now I'm going to prepare my uh, fire uh, or my firewood, uh, find some firewood and then I'll show you my little addition to the firebowl. Now my new setup that will be dark safe hopefully. Yep. There we are. And then I have this one in the middle. As you all know. But um, my new thing I invented is this. And I'll say uh, this one will probably not be done, not be on sale because uh, you don't need this. Only I that have a dog is very curious. But um, yeah. And here you can see these ones are fitted down in these little slots here. I see one, two, three, like this. So now I have my fireball that are more contained fire up here and uh, I can just take this off if I want to make a big fire, uh, put it on when Cornelius is with me. Uh, yeah, I'll show you. It's uh, almost like a bush box. This little addition to my fireball.
avec. Ouais. Now the bacon is done, almost, and uh, I'll fry some eggs and it's going to be scrambled eggs. Yep. So.
Ja. Og Cornelius. Vi har skåret dit ud. Ja, vent. 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 Du er dygtig. Du er så dygtig. Du er så flot, Cornelius. Værsgo, Cornelius. Ja. Værsgo. Så må også en forget the salt. Is it tasty, Cornelius? Tastes good. Mm. Så lidt bitter æg.
Hi Cornelius. Hi Matt. Hi. Hello Matt. Huh? Was it good? Tasty? Now I'll tell you about my new series, Viking from A to O. And um, O is a letter we have in the Danish and the Norwegian alphabet. We actually have three, we have A, Ø and O. Um, and it's some letters that are used very often in names and so on, also in company names. And I know that many companies have difficulties uh, when they're going on uh, the web because a O is not a letter that is in the other countries than uh, these two, Denmark and Norway. So they have to make some changes and uh, the letter A, you can uh, spell it A-E. A-E, as I show you here, uh, a big company in Denmark, I think it's the largest, Maersk, is, uh, uh, is actually with a A, a, -A but it's spelled with A-E, Maersk. Um, and the letter Ø uh, is also a letter that is used very often. Uh, Øl, Ø, and uh, also in uh, some some names. And uh, this can be uh, done with the O E, O E, and then it's pronounced Ø. And then the last O, the letter O, and um, O can be. Uh, O can be uh, changed with two A's. Uh, an example, I live in a uh, near a big city here in the northern part of Jylland that is called Aalborg. And it's actually O in the beginning, but we spell it with two A's. So it's Aalborg with two A's. And the same uh, Aarhus, uh, 100 kilometers from where I live, where my son lives, it's also with an O, but they also spell it with two A's. So this, this is a Danish alphabet and the Norwegian alphabet and these letters haven't existed uh, since the Viking Age so it's nothing to do with that but <clears throat> uh, many of the names, Aegir example and uh, other uh, gods and so on are actually spelled with uh, A, U and O. So I think it was a good idea to make my new series Viking from A to O. Uh, A is the first and O is the last letter in our alphabet. Hope you got that. So um, this time I'm making my series uh, beginning with A, B, C, D and so on and uh, the last one is O. And uh, the first letter is A and uh, I already decided it should be about the gods, the Aesir, that uh, was in the Viking Age. But uh, I'm not going to tell you about that now. Uh, in my later, perhaps my next video, uh, this will be a, a first edition of my new series Viking from A to O. And then it will be about the Aesir. Uh, is here, the gods here in the uh, northern mythology. Yeah. Uh, this way I can come around a lot of uh, issues and uh, subjects uh, that has something to do with the Viking Age. And if you have any questions or any good um, advice, an idea for a letter, let me know. Uh, I won't promise you I will use that, but uh, I'm open for any uh, suggestions. So if you have a good suggestion, uh, let me know in the comment section and I'll consider that. Yeah, and I got a lot of comments, response to my latest video with Cornelius first Viking hike. And um, many of you are telling me I have to be more firm with, the, <laughs> with Cornelius. And of course you're right, but uh, Cornelius is only uh, four months old. He's still a puppy and he's so curious. And I don't want to kill that by having a very uh, strict discipline from the beginning. As you can see, I'm already begin to tell him when uh, he is not allowed to come near and uh, when he goes to uh, eat his dinner. So, small steps at the time. And he is a very special dog. He wants to go his own ways. And uh, for me, I can see that's, uh, that's a plus. Uh, that's positive because then he will be a good dog. He will uh, track. Uh, what I want him to track, and uh, he's not afraid of going out in the forest. He's sometimes so far away I can't see him, and that's because he's a courage. And uh, if I if I do it the wrong way, 
I risk to uh, spoil that in his character, so I don't want to do that. So small steps at the time, and now I'm uh, beginning to uh, to learn, learn him sit and stay and so on. And I can see it's almost uh, perfect now, only uh, after two days of practice. So he's a very uh, wise little dog, uh, so he'll learn that fast. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll be a good companion for me and that I don't have any trouble with him in the future. Hey guys, Cornelius. Hello, Cornelius. What are you He's over there. Hello, hi Cornelius. Yeah, he's having a good time out here and so am I. Um, yeah, my little fireball system, I think it's working nicely. And uh, when I'm having Cornelius out with me, uh, I'll definitely use this uh, in the future because it's more contained and uh, uh, yeah, Cornelius can feel the heat uh, long before he uh, reads the fire. So that's good. Hi Cornelius. Hi Metai. Hi Metai. Oh yeah. My little dog. Hi Musa. Yeah. Mm. I love this little creature. <laughs> Someone called him uh, the Fenris because he's growing so fast and uh, perhaps he is Fenris and uh, the next time you see him he'll be like a Gantanoir or something and uh, just keep growing. <laughs> he sure have a temper, that's, uh, that's for sure. But uh, again, he wants to please me, so it's very easy to, uh, to make him good manners. Yeah, and as you can see, there's a little bit of burning underneath my fireball, and <laughs> yeah, uh, I have a warning for you, because when I uh, cook my um, bacon, there's a lot of grease, and the grease uh, drips off the pan and down on the fireball and, and ignites, and then down to the ground. So it's not a good solution. Uh, if I'm going to make bacon again, I have to have a, a, a pan that is higher in the edges. I hope you understand, so that the, the grease won't uh, drip down on the fireball. But it was nothing, a, a little bit of water and the fire was gone. So no problem there, but something to think about. See? Can you see? Can you see?
Now we are walking here, Cornelius and I, to see if I can find that tree that has some charger on, but don't seem to be able to find it. It's a big forest, and um, yeah, lots of trees, spruce and pine and and birch trees. Hmm. No, I can't find that tree. But what can we learn about that? Always harvest your chaga when you find it, not wait. But uh, perhaps on, the, on my hike out, I'll be able to find it. Yeah. And I forgot my, uh, my spear, so I had to improvise and uh, put my flag up my banner up on one of the poles and it works okay. It's a little bit uh, not even, but it shows that Cornelius and I are here in the forest and having a good time. <laughs> Look here, not far away from my campsite, I find the tree uh, with Chaga on. There it is, Chaga. Just harvest a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah. This was a big chunk. You can see here. Yep. And uh, yeah. This one up here. I think I'll take this too. Yeah, look at this. A good handful. Uh, this is for many. Many times I can make my chaga coffee. Uh, those of you who don't know what this is, it's a fungus that's uh, living on birch trees and it's called true uh, tinker fungus because you can use this when you're making a fire or you can use it as drink. And I normally use it to drink it, boil it for a half an hour in water and uh, yeah, it tastes delicious and it's extremely healthy. So, Jaga, I have a video uh, where I uh, tell a little bit about, about this and I put a link in my video description. A, a good harvest today. I'm so happy. Yeah, school and happy Easter if you're having such a holiday in your country. School everyone. Yeah. I think this would be all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little video with Cornelius and I out here in the Black Forest. My favorite forest. Yeah, it's been a wonderful day. Good food, good drink, and good company. Nothing beats that. So, hope to see you again on the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.